Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are talking about the MCDU function direct. I still get asked uh, frequently on my live streams um, how you can enter a so-called extended center line, i.e. a visual depiction of the final approach track when you are under radar vectors, let's say for the final approach. Now, since the direct prompt actually has three different functions in the MCDU, I will uh, explain all of those uh, for you. So, the three main functions are as follows. First, there is the direct to function, which defines a direct leg from the present position to a specific waypoint. The second one is the direct to a beam function, which if selected, computes the beam waypoints along the direct leg that you've inserted. And the third function is the direct to intercept function, which allows to define a specific radial inbound or outbound at the inserted waypoint. And this will become clearer once I show this in practice. So let's look at the first function, the direct to function and that is fairly simple you get cleared to fly direct to a new waypoint you go to direct then select the desired waypoint and you can see on a nav display it draws in uh, with a yellow line um, the new track to the new waypoint and once you just simply insert that it becomes the new active track i.e. the track to the new waypoint. If you were in NAV mode, obviously that would not change. If you were in heading mode, NAV would then become active. Let's look at the second function, the direct to a beam function. And so let's say we get a clearance now direct to Copa. Um, you can see the new line is being drawn in the NAV display. However, if we were to inset that now, all the other waypoints would disappear. And let's say we want to do a fuel check at Badop. Um, we couldn't really do that because the waypoint would disappear. And so we select a beam waypoints, insert that, and now we can see we have the A B uh, waypoints, so a beam waypoints, and uh, A B Badop, for example. We could then do our fuel check, which is uh, very neat. And so now we know what that a beam points prompt actually does. And now let's have a look at the third case, the direct to intercept function, um, where we can actually define a specific radial inbound, i.e. intercept inbound, or if you want to intercept an outbound radial at a certain inserted waypoint. Um, just as a, a uh, clarification, waypoint can also be a VOR station, NDB station, etc. It doesn't always have to be a fix. So let's say now that um, we've been given a radar heading by ATC and uh, then ATC says for separation reasons intercept the 015 radial um, inbound to Charlie Hotel India. So First of all, of course, we would put direct to Charlie Hotel India, select the VOR station, and then we will say we want to intercept that 015 radial inbound. So now you can see the NAF display shows that radial, and if we then activate that or insert that, now the flight management guide system will compute the intercept point for that desired radial that we've just uh, inserted. And you can see on the primary flight display we have a blue um, NAF uh, mode now showing up, meaning that we're still in heading active mode, but the NAF mode is armed and once we reach that intercept point the NAF mode will become active and the aircraft will then follow the 015 radial inbound, i.e. course 1905 inbound to Charlie Hotel India. So now you can see NAF mode has become active 
it's on its intercept now and the aircraft will start to bank and fly the aircraft onto that radio and you can see the uh, station is actually tuned automatically now and if everything goes well the aircraft will intercept inbound to Charlie Hotel India course 195 i.e. radio 015 and the important thing is that we put in radial in because we want to intercept inbound to Charlie Hotel India so there we go aircraft is starting to bank wonderful I'll now show you a, another example. So let's say we get another heading instruction from ATC. So we get heading 230. And now ATC says um, intercept the radio, let's say um, 270 outbound from Charlie Hotel India. So again, we go direct to, here we have Charlie Hotel India. 270 degrees however now we've been instructed to, uh, to insert or to, to intercept the outbound radio so we need to put the new radial instruction into the outbound prompt there and there we have it already showing up on the NAF display so then we insert that and the FMGCS will now compute the intercept point for the instruction that we've just inserted here. Also, you'll see a outbound um, text here on the NAF display to indicate that we're actually intercepting outbound, not inbound to the station. Same principle applies here. Once we reach that calculated intercept point, the aircraft will go into NAF mode again. Presently, it's only armed. We're still in heading mode. And once that becomes active, the aircraft will intercept the 270 degree radio outbound as we have instructed it to do. And again, uh, be careful with the uh, definitions radial in, radial out. So whenever you are instructed to intercept something inbound to a station or waypoint, you put radial in if you get instructed to intercept something radial or waypoint outbound you will put that um, instruction in the radial out prompt so now we're going to watch the intercept and uh, here it is nav is now active and the autopilot banks the aircraft to the right to intercept that radio. So we then get to the last point of this video um, where I'm being asked very often indeed how to insert an extended radio um, or extended center line from the final approach point, be it a non-position approach or an ILS approach. Um, and I will show you how we do that here in the A320. So, we are in the approach to Bitha runway 06 under radar heading 010. And so now we want to sequence the flight plan and insert an extended center line out of the final fix 06. So we go direct to final fix 06. And it already gives us a recommendation for the outbound. However, the inbound is actually 062. So the outbound, so the reciprocal course, is actually 242 which we'll enter here and you can see now the yellow line already being uh, drawn insert that and of course as before the FMGCS will calculate the intercept point now we don't want that because let's say we're not cleared for the approach yet um, we want to disarm the NAF mode the blue NAF mode and so we simply pull on the heading bug and the blue NAF will disappear and hence the aircraft will simply continue on the cleared heading. Now, let's say we are cleared for the approach and then we would arm the approach mode or the pilot one and two on. It's that simple. So we come to the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it as always. Keep learning, keep flying, keep enjoying. And so from my side, as always, 
Happy Landings.